go ahead and get started. So I put this in the chat, um, but very excited to have you all here. I'm gonna run through a quick introduction of our two amazing panelists. So from Malomo's side, we have our co-founder and CEO, Yao Inning. And then from Yatpo's side, hey, Natalia Cohen. And she is here to tell us all about what she knows as a customer success manager, specifically on the email and SMS side. So thank you both for being here. I know I'm excited and I hope everyone here is as well. So we'll get running with a couple of things for housekeeping. So we want everyone to engage in the chat. I also put a reminder in here that you have to update your settings to send to everyone so that everyone can see your messages. Zoom does this thing that where it does not let me update the default settings. So please make sure that you send everyone the so you change the toggle from hosts and panelists to everyone. And then we also welcome you all to send questions. We have a little bit of time at the end where we will be answering those. And there are prizes up for grabs, so be sure to stay tuned for those, mostly answering questions that Yao yeah, will pitch, and you can put your answers in the chat. And then we also will be sending the recording to your inbox, so you don't have to scribble down notes or anything of the sort unless you want to. And this will all be, hopefully by end of day tomorrow, sent to you. So with that, we have a very brief agenda for you all here. We're gonna be going over Malomo and Yapo and then how these two technologies are working together. We're also begin we're going to be giving a live demo, which hopefully you'll find exciting and then dive into a little bit more of a strategy discussion about use cases with the integration as well as our Q&A portion. So with that, I'll hand it off to you, Yao, to give an overview of Malomo. Awesome. Thank you, Mariah. Great to have everybody join today. Um, I'm pumped about this. Uh, this is going to be cool integration. Got some, some awesome use cases uh, um, that I think we can unlock here. But really quickly about Malomo, uh, if you don't know us, you know we help you turn your order tracking um, experience into a retention marketing channel. So we've worked with, uh, we've tracked about you know billions of dollars worth of orders on behalf of our merchants. And we've gotten to see firsthand working with, with them, the impact that tracking can have on your attention and your customer's kind of perception of your brand during this pretty important time in the customer experience. So we're going to start things off right away with the trivia question. Um, and our, 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 this is, it'll give you a chance to win a $25 DoorDash gift card. Uh, question is, how many times on average does a customer check their tracking per order? Um, if you are a Malomo customer, you probably know this well, um, but drop your answers into chat and uh, closest guest will win the prize. So we'll give, uh, we'll give you kind of 10, 15 seconds here to, to make some guesses. Uh, you got some flowing in. Ooh, yes, 8, 11. Uh, yeah, okay, 9. Some really good guesses here. Uh, I'm surprised nobody's guessed 1,000 yet. I That's know, I personally. I check a thousand times. <laughs> I hit that refresh button. <laughs> Tally, all you all day, every day. <laughs> uh, okay, going once, going twice. Uh, sold. So the correct answer is 4.6. So whoever was closest, hopefully Mariah will be able to uh, grab you and uh, we'll get your contact information and, and send you off your gift card. Uh, so the order tracking page is one of the single most viewed pages for e-commerce brands. Uh, we've actually seen that upwards of 20% of your overall website traffic. So that includes all traffic, right? Anybody browsing your web, web uh, storefront, um, making purchases, right? Everybody visiting your storefront, 20% of that traffic is actually going to just check the status of their order. So we like to put this into context, like imagine paying Facebook, right, for ad traffic and then sending one out of every five clicks to a dead landing page that you don't control. Like that's sort of lunacy. But that's exactly what a lot of merchants are, are doing during delivery, right? They're just throwing away all that traffic to carriers, hoping that the carriers will deliver a good experience. And I've learned in business that hope is not a strategy. So with Malomo, right, we put, we put the control of all of that traffic and engagement back into your hands. When a customer browses your storefront, makes a purchase, we now give you control to trigger all of your post-purchase transactional order no notifications directly from Yapo. 
You can control the design, the content, the timing and messaging of these notifications. And then when that customer clicked to track the package, we're driving them right back to your storefront to view their order status and a very engaging, fully branded customized tracking experience. And there are several, several benefits uh, to controlling the delivery experience. Um, by controlling it, you can drive repeat purchases, you can drive customer support down, and the results are, are pretty incredible. Um, American Tall drove about 17,000 repeat orders from promoting products and collections on their Malomo tracking experience in, in just 12 months. Brewmate is experiencing an average open rate of 61% across their transactional emails, right? Which added benefit, they're improving the deliverability and performance of their entire email account by doing so. And then Suit Shop saw uh, nearly a 40% reduction in CX tickets by really being proactive in communicating delivery information. So these, these are very typical results of our merchants um, in, in lots of different areas that can drive really good retention for your brand. So I'm gonna pass things over to Talia to talk a little bit about uh, Yapo. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I know I am definitely someone who loves to check in on their order uh, status very, very frequently. So I'm always of the camp of sending more notifications and being proactive about that. So it's like a match made in heaven here. Um, but to give you guys a little bit of background on Yapo, Yapo is a retention marketing platform, and our entire platform is built up to give merchants the framework and tools for a successful retention marketing strategy. With our best-in-class solutions for SMS and email, reviews and visual UGC, loyalty and referrals, and most recently subscriptions, all living under one roof, our merchants are able to give customers a very thrilling customer experience. We have over 35,000 customers across industries and sizes leveraging our platform. Now, we understand the challenges of the market currently, and our whole mission is to give you the tools and guidance to help retain those customers. Um, we do this by breaking down the stages of customer retention, which you'll see in the next slide. Um, you'll see how each of our products work harmoniously together to provide those best in class experiences. So, uh, perfect. Um, so really the key components of customer retention to us are one, collecting a valuable first purchase, securing that second purchase and building and nurturing and engaged audiences with communications and experiences that will in turn drive up customer lifetime value and repeat purchases. Furthermore, as all of our products live under one roof, each pass and share data to one another, allowing for some truly exciting and innovating uh, synergistic experiences to the customer. So breaking this down, what does it look like in real time? Um, customers that have already adopted our retention marketing platform and leveraging this new e-commerce playbook, they're already seeing a 40% increase in repeat customer rate and a 25% increase in sales from repeat customers. Um, on this next slide, just to call out a few um, kind of champions of this new uh, uh, e-commerce playbook. So Dime Beauty has seen a 38% increase in repeat purchase rate. Uh, LSKD has seen a two times customer lifetime value with Yapo. Um, and PSD Underwear has seen four times more orders on average from repeat customers. So the proof is already in the pudding. We're seeing the payoff really take uh, have impact here. Incredible. Uh, incredible, incredible. So that's like one of the reasons why I'm super excited about this integration is just you know, Yapo has just been focused on bringing these tools together into one. And I think it really provides some unique ways in which you can leverage all of these tools during your tracking experience, which brings us to why we built this integration. So, uh, okay, second time to win a prize here. Um, we at Maloma and Yapo, we obviously love retention, but there is a silent killer crushing your retention and that is bad delivery experiences. So another $25 gift card up for grabs. What percentage of customers will you lose to a bad delivery experience? Okay, drop your answers into chat. Again, closest person will win. What percentage of customers will you lose um, to a bad delivery experience? All right. Yes, 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 okay. I think some good cool. guesses. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> the red one is 200%. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> oh, you were gonna lose your customer twice. Yes, I love it. Okay, going once, going twice. Sold. All right. Uh, eighty-four percent. So eight out of every ten shoppers will not return after just a single bad delivery experience. Um, which is that's a massive amount, right? So if we can simply improve the experience of tracking, we can actually really dramatically improve retention. And that's that's really the, the reason why we built this integration, right? Malomo Nyapo is your secret weapon to driving really great retention in your from your post-purchase experience. We're both on a mission to help merchants grow their businesses through a retention mindset. And so this, this integration is a pretty important leap forward in that direction. And with that said, let us hop into the integration. So I'm excited to walk through a live demo um, of how this all works. So we'll start, we're inside of Yappo's dashboard and Talia, feel free to kind of add and chime in as I'm walking yeah, through this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so in the integrations section, you will see Malomo as an integration that you can add. Um, you can also search for it um, there. And so we will follow the prompts to kind of connect the two platforms together. Then we'll go into flows uh, to, to basically create our first flow. So this is where we'll go to um, trigger our email and SMS messages to customers. So I'm gonna create a flow uh, by searching for Malomo and you'll see our event triggers pop up in the dashboard. Um, so they're pre-built, pre-populated. Um, so it makes it really easy to kind of trigger a flow from a Malomo powered event. Uh, next, we're going to want to send our first message and we're gonna trigger an SMS message to customers. So I'm gonna uh, add an action and choose SMS. And what I love about this is we actually, the Yapo team um, did a great job of kind of pre-populating a message that has some of our variables already in there to make it really easy for you to kind of really just get started um, with it. Um, and so you'll see, you know, hey, your order is in transit. Um, we can populate different kind of delivery information and carry information that we're sending over to Yapo. And then we've also got some additional short codes that you can add in. Uh, and so you'll see some of the codes, some other codes that you can add in coming from the moment integration. So if we wanted to pop in kind of the, the tracking page URL, uh, we, can, we can pop that into the message. All right, great. So with that, right, we've already got a, our first message kind of teed up. Um, I also want to add in, and actually before I jump to that, any, any additions that you'd make here, Talia? Uh, no, I think for a first message, this is a great strategy. I love leading with an SMS message. I think it's great to just get that instantly out there in front of customers, but I'll, I'll let you tee up that next one. Perfect. Okay. Then we're also, we also want to trigger an, an email message to customers. So the SMS message will go to customers who opted into receiving order updates when they checked out. Um, for those that didn't, we also want to provide them with tracking information. So we're also going to trigger an email to those customers. So I'm again going to add an action and we're going to choose email message for this one. All right, then we're going to scroll down to the email section. So I'm going to add in subject line. So I'll add your order had shipped. And you can include variables in this as well. And so if you wanted to add in like the order number in the in that message, you could scroll down to the events, uh, the event section and find order number here, right? And then I'm gonna design the email as well. So I'll click into edit the design. And I've got actually a, a pre-built template uh, already built. So I'm going to go in and change the template here. Go over to my templates and then add this template that I've already built. Cool. And so we've got uh, our branded, um, I've got a, us teed up as a, our, our little dog store that we mm -hmm. love to use at Malomo. 
Um, we've got a fun little message that's on brand, right? Our logo is in there. We've got a really playful hero image that's letting them know the order is shipped and it's on its way. And then we've got some more important delivery content information inside the email. So again, you can drop in var variables from the Molomo event, like carry your name, tracking number. Um, we've got, we can link to your tracking page. So we automatically can direct that customer to the tracking page that we'll build in just a second. And then other information, right? Like estimated delivery dates and delivery details. We can drop in using variables inside of, inside of Yappos um, email builder. And then we'll end with a nice little kind of fun message about how to, what to do if you need to contact support. Um, so with that, you know, we've got an email designed and when it gets triggered, it will pre um, populate this email, all the um, variable data from the carrier event that happens. All right. And with that, the email is built. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, maybe Tali, you could cover this too, uh, that I really, that I really loved is you can, you can also include content from some of the other Yatpo apps inside this, this email, yeah, right? Absolutely. So yeah. um, as I mentioned before, because all of our Yatpo products are under one roof, we're able to tie in data from other um, programs and platforms. So for example, if you're a loyalty member, or if you're not a loyalty member, we're able to say, hey, did you know you could have earned X amount of points on this purchase? While you're waiting, sign up here. Or we can include some reviews that we've collected if you want to help inspire that next purchase or even do a post-purchase subscription upsell. So a lot that. of options to just continue that engagement and that conversation. Yeah. And it's so easy, right? You can just grab that if you're already integrated using that app. You can exactly. grab that and Click just and drag, drag it, it right onto right onto that. Yeah. Onto that email. Yeah. So awesome. Uh Wonderful. So we've got a flow built that will trigger when the package has been picked up by the carrier and it's moving, sends that customer an SMS if they have opted into receiving SMS uh, or sends that customer an email around their delivery status. All of these, I believe, are marked as transactional by default. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Amazing. So these will hit the primary inbox to get good deliverability on these. All right. So we've got, you know, our email flows. You can go back and create flows for all of the different different shipping statuses um, to ensure that customers are getting updated on their order. All right. Great. Next, when whenever that customer clicks to track their package, we need to send them to a tracking page. So I'm going to go inside of the Molomo dashboard and, and quickly show how to do that. Um, so inside of Molomo, you'll navigate to the tracking page creator and click create a tracking page. You'll, you'll then fill out a couple quick pieces of information like the title of the page that you want and what URL under your store that you want your tracking page to live under and click create. And once you do that, a new kind of tile will pop up uh, that, that uh, will be your new tracking page. And so you can um, then go in and customize that page. So. When you click customize, we deep link you directly into Shopify um, content management system. So you can actually edit that page directly. So I'm actually gonna really quickly build this page. Um, I can select a background image for our dog store. And then I actually already have some pre-built sections built inside of my storefront. And so I'm just gonna, add those sections. So I included our, our featured collections and highlighting some of our favorite um, products that our customers purchase. And then, you know, I've obviously I've got a loyalty and rewards program powered by Yatpo and I want to promote that as well post-purchase. And so I've got, you know, pre-built section talking about that program uh, and how it works. Uh, perfect. And then I, I can quickly just hit save, right? And preview that page and it looks fantastic looks totally on brand looks part of my storefront and uh and voila right in in 10 minutes we were able to build a tracking experience from scratch you can see the live page um, that we built here um, on that storefront 
I love that um, you included the get order updates via SMS, that little floating button at the bottom. That's a really great yes. touch to just continue more conversation even after the customer has already placed their order. Yes, that's a great call out too. I'd, I'd forgotten about that. Mm -hmm. um, the beautiful part about all of this, right, is Yappo's got some really great um, opt-in tools that you can leverage. This is right uh, one of those tools. You can have this living on your tracking page if customers want to get updates via text. You can build your SMS list in a way that feels very natural and in, in uh, a way that customers actually want to continue to hear from you. All right, cool. And with that, we've walked through uh, the live demo. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stop sharing, and we're gonna jump into the Q and A section. Uh, to talk a little bit more about some strategy and answer some some questions uh, from the from the audience. Uh, okay, so um, Talia, I actually wanted to to start off by you know asking you. Merchants put a lot of emphasis on creating really premium experiences post purchase, you know, mm -hmm. with their transactional email and SMS. Um, any ideas why that is? Like of all the places you, that you could invest your time, like why spend time at, on this part of the customer journey? Yeah, I think that's a great call out. Um, and I think a lot of it is has to do with kind of the area that SMS and email marketing is in currently, specifically SMS marketing. During COVID, it was a, a, a huge boom and customers were kind of expected to get, you know, a 20% off coupon every single time they got a text. And we're seeing that it's kind of fatiguing at this point. Customers don't really see the value in the product anymore if they're always going to get a coupon. And it's really hard to make that conversion. So we're really putting an emphasis with brands to focus on that, um, that relationship that you're building and still give out coupons when you want, but make sure that we're nurturing a relationship before that. And so a really great time to do so is... Um, you know, in, in that post-purchase engagement and really building up that trust and that relationship. And with Malomo, especially since we'll be able to have such up-to-date notifications, the customer can really feel that relationship grow and then ultimately convert into another purchase. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you, you see that quite a bit, right? You don't want to degrade the value of your products by blasting people with, with coupons, but it's hard to think about different strategies when you want to communicate and and uh, relationship building starts in moments where you where you actually want to build trust and mm -hmm. create an emotional connection and and uh, post purchase and tracking is a is a great is a great opportunity to do that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Um, I uh, like. I'd love to hear from you too. How other merchants might be using other products in the Yapo suite to enhance their their post purchase experience. So like. Um, how are brands using tools like UGC or reviews post-purchase to, to connect with customers? Yeah, um, we really recommend or in, and encourage brands to utilize the other tools if they have those um, programs up and running. Um, for example, with something as simple as, um, you know, if you're a brand using our, our loyalty tool, um, we'll recommend you to condition out your flows based off of loyalty status. And instead of just sending to a customer, hey, your order is on its way, you can say, hey, your order is on its way. P.S. We noticed that you're not a part of our loyalty program. Did you know you could have earned X points on this purchase? Join now while you're waiting for your purchase. Um, another really quick one that a lot of merchants are taking advantage of is uh, conditioning based off of customer cohort. So we don't want to message the same message to every customer at the exact same time. If I'm someone who has placed five orders my entire life and I've spent over $1,000 at a store, I don't want to just get a simple generic message that says, hey, Talia, thanks for your purchase. Let's speak to the fact that I'm such a dedicated and loyal fan. We can say, hey, super fan, Talia, thanks so much for your order. You know what to do. Here's your tracking information. Let us know if you have any questions and really build out more of that relationship mm -hmm. there. Um, and so with Yapo, you're able to condition off of all of those segments and really speak to the customer where they're at. Yeah, that's great. Yep, that's that's really good. It's nice to have all that data integrated in one yeah, place. Yeah, So exactly. you can orchestrate that that in, in a coordinated way. A hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, great. And then um, talk, talk a little bit about like um, opt-in strategy, right? Uh, you know, it, I think a lot of merchants are thinking about this, the 
the differences between marketing versus transactional and like, how does that work inside Yapo? Yeah, um, for sure. How should Merch be thinking about that? Yeah, well, I think um, a big push and and something that, um, you know, merchants are, are really moving past is thinking the only way that I can collect subscribers is through a pop-up or at checkout or a landing page. And that all happens pre-purchase. Um, but something that we can do with SMS um, that's similar to email marketing is we can condition based off of if someone is an SMS subscriber. Um, and when I'm checking out, I'm still going to leave my phone number. And even if I'm not opting into SMS marketing, I can still get those transactional updates. Um, and we recommend to our brands to utilize the keyword opt-in tool. So we can say, text bone to goodest boy or text bone to our number to join our SMS program and get even more texts and more deals. And that's happening after the customer has already placed their order. And it really speaks to the fact that we're building up this relationship in a really healthy and, and carefully crafted way. And we're not just immediately throwing them with another 10% coupon after opting in. I just placed an order. I don't need a coupon, but maybe we should give me a different talk track to help me make that next order. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, awesome. Well, I'm, I'll uh, maybe let's jump to some audience questions too, Mariah. Yeah, want to want to make sure that we get audience questions answered here. Yep. So Leanna asked, "Would we be able to segment y- uh, Yapo tracking emails by carriers?" Oh so that yeah, that's a good, that's yeah. a great question. Yeah, uh, I don't believe we are able to do that today, but we're working through some fast follows on the integration in order to support a lot more segmentation um, concepts like that. Um, so we would not we would not be able to segment off of carrier, I believe today, but I'll double check with uh, with both engineering teams um, to confirm that. But we are, like I said, we're, we're collecting all the, the insights around how to, how to continue to do some fast follows on the integration. Mm-hmm. Love it. And then one more question while we wrap up, are these notifications considered transactional by default? Yes, yes, they are considered transactional by default, um, which is which is great. You know, you don't have to go through any, I believe, any sort of like approval process from Maloma or Yapo um, to get the setup as transactional. We built them as transactional by default um, through this integration, um, which is yeah, which makes things a lot easier for merchants to kind of get up and running. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Okay. I think that is it and perfectly timed. So great job. Thank you both. It was so awesome to sit and just admire the conversation and the integration from a little bit of afar. Um, Thank you everyone for joining as well. I will be in touch with those who won our gift cards and thanks for uh, engaging in the chat. It's always fun to see everyone's guesses. Um, Yeah. So we can leave it at that and we'll be in touch. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye. Good to see you.